Lake Tanganyika is one of the largest freshwater lakes in the world by volume and depth, second only to Lake Baikal in Siberia. In fact, it is so large that it belongs to four different countries, Tanzania, Burundi, Zambia, and Congo. Tanzania is a country in East Africa within the African Great Lakes region. It borders Uganda to the north, Kenya to the northeast, Comoro Islands and the Indian Ocean to the east, Mozambique and Malawi to the south. Zambia to the southwest, and Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west. Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest mountain, is in northeastern Tanzania. As of 2021, according to the IMF, Tanzania's gross domestic product was an estimated $71 billion, or $218.5 billion on a purchasing power parity basis. GDP per capita was $3,574. From 2009 through 2013, Tanzania's per capita GDP grew an average of 3.5% per year, higher than any other member of the East African community and exceeded by only nine countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. Welcome to Think Rich Africa the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So, if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. 10. Hoima Tanga Crude Oil Pipeline Uganda's President Yuri Museveni signed the East African Crude Oil Pipeline Project Agreement with his Tanzanian counterpart, Samia Hassan Suluhu. The agreement, signed in the Ugandan capital Kampala, paves the way for the construction of a 1,440-kilometer crude oil pipeline from Uganda's Albertine region to Tanzanian seaport of Tanga. Extraction will take place at two oil fields, the Kingfisher Field, which is operated by China National Offshore Oil Corporation LED, and the Talanga Field, operated by Total TSA. The $3.55 billion pipeline could be the longest electrically heated crude oil pipeline in the world. Once completed, more than 10,000 job opportunities will be created during execution. 9. Julius Nyerere Hydropower Project Julius Nyerere Hydropower Station is a hydroelectric dam under construction across the Rufiji River in eastern Tanzania. Although controversial, the government approved the plans in 2018. The power station is expected to have an installed capacity of 2,115 megawatts and to produce 5,920 gigawatts of power annually. The project, power station, and dam are owned by and will be managed by the government-owned Tanzania Electric Supply Company, Tanesco. Construction began in 2019 and is expected to be completed in 2022. When completed, the dam will be fourth largest in Africa, the ninth largest in the world, and the largest power station in East Africa. The 134 meters arched, concrete dam is expected to create a reservoir lake, 100 kilometers in length, measuring 1,200 square kilometers, with 34 billion cubic meters of water. This power station is located in Selis Game Reserve, one of the world's largest World Heritage Sites, measuring 45,000 square kilometers. The power station and reservoir lake are planned to occupy approximately 1,350 square kilometers within the game reserve. 8. Vitwara Fertilizer Plant The fate of the planned $1.9 billion fertilizer plant on the Metwara coastline is still unclear as the government is yet to agree with potential investors on the project's commercial framework. The project was supposed to start in 2016 through a joint venture of the Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation TPDC, with several foreign companies, but they did not strike a deal with the government on the commercial terms to be involved. The Petroleum Upstream Regulatory Authority 
which regulates the exploration, development, and production of natural gas and the liquefied natural gas, LNG, said at the weekend that the fertilizer project is still on. Seven, Rosimo Hydropower Project. Despite criticism from environmentalists, Tanzanian President John Magufuli has inaugurated a new hydroelectric power project in Seliskane Reserve, a World Heritage Site. The project is expected to provide an additional 2,100 megawatts of electricity, which will more than triple Tanzania's installed hydropower capacity of 562 megawatts. Currently, only 10% of households in Tanzania have access to the national grid for electricity, according to the United Nations Development Program. Magufuli said the project will not affect the environment and will boost the economy through industrialization. The project will be contained to 3% of the Seliskane Reserve, a protected area about the size of Switzerland. Once completed, the dam will be owned by the Ministry of Tourism. 6. Phase 2 of DRT Project Tanzania is set to commence construction of Phase 2 of the DAR as Salam Bus Rapid Transit in June this year. The DAR administration confirmed the reports and said that 88.9% of the project would be financed by the Africa Development Bank, while 11.1% of the project would be financed by the Tanzanian government. The DART project is 49% owned by the government and 51% owned by Simon Group Limited. The Yusufiri Salama Dar as Salam Rapid Transit operates the system with Surface and Marine Transport Regularity Authority overseeing them. Phase 1 of the DRT begun in 2012 and was completed by 2015. The transit goes for 21.1 km with 29 stations and a dedicated bus lanes. The project cost $180 million and was funded by the Africa Development Bank, the World Bank, and the Government of Tanzania. Phase 2 of the 20.3 km DRT project starts at Gerizani and City Council BRT station. This involves Kilwa Road, Changang Road, Kowawa Road, Gerizani Street, Bandari Road, and Sokoin Drive. 5. New International Airport in Dodoma The project is part of program to expand the East African nation's infrastructure. It will be built in the Salado, 12 km from Dodoma. It will include a passenger terminal, runway, and related infrastructure. The new airport project, which will take approximately four years for construction, will have a capacity to handle 1 million passengers annually and will have a runway of just over 2 km in length. Project funding The funding package comprises a $198.6 million loan from the FDB. 4. New Lykong Om Chinga Liquefied Natural Gas Plant $30 billion Tanzania expects a consortium of international oil companies to start building a long-delayed liquefied natural gas project in 2022 and will be complete in 2028. Construction of an LNG export terminal near huge offshore natural gas discoveries in deep water south of the East African country has been held up for years by regulatory delays. The government said in March it planned to conclude talks in September with a group of foreign oil and gas companies led by Norway's Equinor on developing the LNG terminal. The country's central bank believes just starting work on the $30 billion plant would add another two percentage points to annual economic growth of around 7%. The project will have capacity to produce 10 million tons per annum of liquefied natural gas. The international oil companies will develop the project in partnership with the state-run Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation. The plant would be located on approximately 2,071.705 hectares in Lycongo village in the town of Lindi on the Indian Ocean coast. Approximately 460 kilometers by road south of Dar es Salaam. 3. Expansion of the Dar es Salaam port the government is implementing a project to expand seven berths depth from the current 8 meters to 15 meters. 
The expansion will allow the port to receive larger vessels, able to carry up to 19,000 containers. The project will enable the Tanzania Port Authority to increase the container through output to 28 million tons a year from around 20 million containers currently. The port will be able to handle ships with more than 304 meters from the current 204 meters. Two, Tanzania SGR project. Tanzania will become the third country in East Africa to start enjoying modern railway services after Kenya and Ethiopia. Kenya was the first country in the region to start the construction of an SDR line, completing over 500 km between Mombasa and Nairobi, and also inaugurating its passenger services in June 2017. The government is constructing a new electric railway line using domestic resources from Dar es Salaam, Morogoro, Dodoma, about 700 km. The whole projects cover a distance of about 2,707 km, with three branches from Dar es Salaam, Tabora Kigoma, Tabora, Mwanza, and Kaliwa, Mpanda. The project is expected to improve transportation of cargo and passengers in the Central Corridor. It is expected to reduce time and freight for cargo destined to neighboring countries like Rwanda, Burundi, Uganda, and DRC. 1. Bagamoyo Port $11 billion Through a collaboration between Tanzania, China, and Oman, the ambitious Bagamoyo Port is now being developed in Tanzania, along with 190 industries built throughout a 1,700-hectare special economic zone adjacent to the port. At a cost of $11 billion, this mega-infrastructure project is designed to become Africa's largest port. The port should be able to handle 20 million containers annually once it's fully completed by 2045. The project will position Tanzania into a regional economic powerhouse. Hope you enjoyed the video. Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Do not forget to like and share the video, hit the subscribe button so as to be part of our growing Thinkrich community.